Hi there, welcome back to the pen and inkwell. So I'm going to be looking at a different manufacturer of pen this time. I haven't looked at this manufacturer before and the pens I've had, quite a few of them of, I've had, this is Twisby I'm going to be looking at. I've had the Twisby Minis, I've had the 580s, I had the 540s and I've loved every one of them. Fantastic workhorse pens really but now they've done something that little bit different in as much as they've reduced the price to make it really affordable for everybody else. So Twisby have brought out what they call the Twisby Eco, so here I have it in the black and they've also brought it out in the white. And what's exciting is, is that here in the UK you can get these for twenty eight ninety nine, and this is a piston filler pen that holds a ton of ink that will keep you going for a long time. You don't have to be worried about changing out small cartridges or anything like that. But I've had a play with them now for the last few days. We're going to look at it in a bit more detail. I want to thank Ross and his team at Pure Pens for sending this to me to have a look at. I'm really grateful, very excited by it. So I hope you join me soon to have a look in a little more detail. Thanks. So welcome back to have a look at this now in a little more detail. So as I said in the introduction, this is a new pen by Twisby. It's been sent to me very kindly by um, Ross and his team at Pure Pens. They go as, say they're available if you have to look online as Pure Pens and as Niche Pens um, and also Pelican Pens, but I'll put a link in the description below. But they've sent me this, they sent me the white one and the black one to have a look at. I've sent the black one back now, I just wanted to have some sort of comparison really. And I've taken some photos which I'll put on my on my website to have a look at the difference between the white and the black. But we, what we're going to look at now more closely is the white version of this pen. So this is the new pen now by Twisby. This is their entry point pen I would say. It retails at £28.99 here in the UK. And... Um, Actually, for £28.99, what you've got here is, is a piston filler pen that holds a ton of ink. This has the same capacity as the 580, um, just a, about just under 2 millilitres of ink this holds. And the same, this is a piston filler pen, and it is very rare to get a piston filler pen for around that price point. And as you come to expect, really, with Twisby, decent nibs, very good sort of German steel nibs really like the nibs and this comes available from an EF so an extra fine, a fine, a medium, a broad and also the 1.1 millimeter nibs options available here and again comes in white and in black. I think I have seen some photos online of them possibly coming out in a completely demonstrated so completely transparent version of that but that's not available here at the moment, but as I say, I have seen some pictures online of that, so that may be something to look out at. So let's have a look at it in a little closer. So this is how it comes in this little box. So it's a new box we haven't seen before from Twisby. It's a clear plastic box. Do you know, I quite like it. I think it goes with the um, sort of modern feel that there is to this pen, the modern design to this pen. It's very basic, so it's got the Twisby stamp here and just about sort of make out sort of embossed in here and it's got Twisby embossed across here and then underneath you see the eco coming through. So if we open this up it's got this red paper then sort of wrapped around it as I said with the eco stamp there on there. And then what we've got now are instructions as to how to open this pen up. So again, we can you can disassemble this pen to clean it properly, which is really a bonus with these. And it gives you then instructions on how to fill the pen up with ink. Which is always welcome if you're a starter, you know, it's really good to know that. So we'll open this up. And what we'll see inside now, so we've got the wrench in here to use to open this up. Put that aside and then just just that around. The silicone grease you use when you know, things it starts getting a little bit stiff and then the pen itself. I've already filled this obviously but so I have had a bit of a play of this but I put it back in to give you a bit of an idea. It's quite snug in here so I'll get this out. It's like a foam setting but they are really secure in here so we put all of this out of the way 
So here it is. I'll put it on that way. It makes more sense to me that way. This is the Twisby Eco fountain pen. So we've got the white matching here at the filler end and then matched with the white cap. So if we have a look at this cap, it's hexagonal in shape and then we've got here the Twisby logo on the lid. See that quite clearly there. And then the clip, it's a good clip. It has got a bit of a spring to that, so it would clip quite securely onto something. And then it's a twist. So we've got, again, there's a silver band around, around here, and then Twisby stamped on there. You see that close to there? Yeah, just about. So there's the Twisby. It's a twist, as I said, so you twist it open. Apologies. Let me get rid of that ink. It's been in here a little while, actually. I have found that with this pen, actually, that if it is stored for a little while, that it does seem to be leaking a little excess ink. Um, I'm not sure whether that's a common thing, or whether it's just this one, or whether it's just the fact that I've had it in a pencil case and it's been really just in the bottom of my bag and taken a bit of a beating around, actually. So let's have a look at it. So let's have a look, see if we can have a look at this nib a little closer. Can you see that there? It's not focusing in. There. So there's the Twisby logo on there. It's a really, really pretty nib, actually. I think that looks fantastic. It's not as big as the nib on the 580. Um, I don't find that to be a problem actually, I really quite like the size of this nib. Um, but this is an EF, this is an extra fine. For those of you that have been watching my videos, I do have a preference for extra fine nibs. I particularly like Japanese fine and extra fine nibs, but um, these are good and we'll see that now in a, in a writing sample, the sort of line that it puts down. So it is a very pretty decorative nib actually with the patterns that we've got up the top here, around the top of the nib, then the Twisby logo and the Twisby underneath, and as you see, just about there at the bottom, EF for extra fine. So the rest of this then, I'll bring it down away closer, is a demonstrator pen, and you'll see the amount of ink that this can, sorry, move out of the way, the amount of ink that this could hold. I've got this filled with Diamine Bilberry ink. I think it looks great in here, actually, this sort of bluey purple ink in among there, but I did also have a um, very nice pinky red ink in here, which looked fantastic. As I say, it is a demonstrator, so I'm not going to do this now, but if we twist this, this is how you fill the pen, and then this plunger comes up to draw the ink up from there. So you'll see the ink will go straight the way through here, and out then, fill in through the side here. It's a straight barrel. This grip section, it is round. I don't know if you can see, it does come out a little bit at the end here so that you knit, your fingers don't come off the edge. So you can actually rest your finger and thumb in there at the end without it slipping onto the nib and you know onto the parts that are gonna make you get sort of ink on your hands. It's a nice weight. Let me give you some dimensions actually here. So this, Lengthwise, it's 139 millimeters with the cap on. It's 134 millimeters without the cap. So we're here from nib to t from nib to the end here, and it's 170 millimeters if you post it. You can post it. I'll show you now. It does post. It doesn't stay on particularly sort of strong, but it is possible to post it. Personally, I wouldn't. I think it makes quite a an extremely long pen here then if you post it and it starts to feel a little bit top heavy so I wouldn't post it but it's a nice size pen without it being posted I, for me it's a perfectly sized and proportioned pen width wise around the barrel here it's 13 millimeters here around here so I think say so that actually makes it quite a nice size Weight, it's 22 grams with the cap on. It's 14 grams without the cap. So the majority of the weight is in this cap. 
this cap is quite heavy so without the weight the cap it's, it's quite a lightweight pen which I prefer I do prefer a lightweight pen um, the filling mechanism it has worked really well it's, it was very easy to fill up the plunger moved very it wasn't stiff at all it moved very very nicely and it wrote straight out of the box which is what I always like actually that it did write straight out of the box because I get a little overexcited and I want to try them out straight away and the last thing I want to do then is have to worry about do I have to um, flush them out do I have to clean them before I can get them to write but no, this wrote straight out of the box and I have changed the ink and cleaned it through and it does clean through very well actually and gets the rest of the ink out but particularly as you've got these tools now that we've seen you can actually take this apart you'd be able to get this cleaned up really really well so I'm going to do a writing sample now with it for you to see you should be able to see how this writes and you know any more thoughts that I have on this but again if you've got any more questions just please leave a comment below and I'll endeavour to get those answered for you and get back to you if any requests then please just let me know again but other than that I'll do a writing sample now and just get my pad out and then I'll finish up but I'll see you very shortly so let's have a look at a writing sample so this is the Twisby Eco I say this is a piston filler pen and this is an extra fine nib I don't know if you can hear on there but there is a bit of feedback from this nib you do hear a bit of sound but it's not scratchy to write with at all it still writes really nicely but it does give some feedback for me I really like that I do like having some feedback and see if I can have a look at this sort of clip you can get in here closer to have a look but if you're not so keen that's a little too close I think if you're not so keen on feedback you know and you like something really smooth then you know you're probably not so keen on extra fine nibs but I like that from here so this is the ink I'm using with this is Diamine Bilberry and this is a Roger squared pad I do like using Roger pads for these really good paper to be using with fountain pens so no skipping at all I haven't had any skipping or any missed lines whatsoever it's very easy to use puts down a good line of ink let's see if I can have a look at I'll get you in closer we'll have a look at sort of you know line width here and see if there's any variation on this see if that'll focus back in if you put a bit of pressure you can get a little bit of line variation not a huge amount but then it's not meant for that it's not meant to have any the 1.1 is available actually if you were looking for an italic so that's a, you know an option for you this is an extra fine it as far as the line is concerned it is a standard western extra fine nib I think it sort of draws a nice like it's not too fine actually you know I, I do like the width of this nib so pretty nib pretty pen so as drying time is concerned you know it's always a combination of the pen and the ink really and getting that combination right I always find the diamine inks tend to go work, work well with the twisby pens um, it's always been my preference I'm sure other people you know try different things um, but I do like using diamine ink with the twisby pens I think they work really well together this is not a wet nib it's probably wetter than some others I've used actually it's wetter than I would say a lamy ink it does draw down quite a bit and the same that it is leaving a little bit of extra ink on the nib once it's left capped for a little while um, I don't know whether that's to do with the sheer volume of ink that's it you know that it's being kept in here or anything I'm not quite sure but for 28.99 and if you're looking for a piston filler ink so if you're starting university now starting college starting comprehensive school or want to start looking at fountain pens if you're in work and you use a lot and you don't want to be worried about changing inks having to change cartridges fairly regularly this really is worth looking at it holds loads of ink a ton of ink and it's going to keep you going for a little while available at the moment in the white and the black as i said i think there's a transparent version coming out 
and um Trisby, if you're listening, I'd actually be really quite interested to see some other colours coming out here. My daughter's just sort of mentioned to me now in the imp while we were changing over. It'd be great to see some, you know, for a starter pen, maybe a nice pink or a nice green or yellow. Could really have some fun with the different colours on here. But as I said, leave me some comments below. Let me know what you think. Is there something else you'd like me to look at with these? And then um, I'll see you during my next review. Thanks very much for watching and bye-bye.